The last word is the first novel I've written for ages, actually. Um, and it's mostly about two men, an older Indian writer, a man in his early 70s, and a younger man, early 30s, white Englishman, who goes to write his biography. It's a very odd experience also to have somebody else telling the truth of your own life, as it were, like having your own experience read back to you by an idiot. And the story is about two men, their lives, telling the truth of a life. Um, it's about their competitiveness. It's about their uh, discussions about women, their relationships um, with women, and their arguments with and about women throughout the book. Um, so it's a sort of English country um, comedy, quite light in some ways, but it's also about some of the most serious things, about sexuality, about passion, about love, and about writing. Well, for a time I thought it was going to be the last book I would write, so I called it The Last Word. Then I thought, oh, it's about two people arguing. It's certainly about words and about language. Um, it's also about who has the last word. But of course, in a sense, there's never the last word because people carry on talking, carry on arguing throughout eternity. But it's certainly a book that's about the importance of language. Moon Moon is an older Indian writer, very, very successful, who has travelled and written novels, essays, plays and so on, and a young man, very nervous, who comes to, to, to confront him. Um, and then there is um, Moon Moon's wife, who is a, um, a really extravagant, crazy Italian woman who um, is rather confined in the countryside, but is really good fun, and with whom um, uh, our hero Harry strikes up a real friendship. It's about what happens between all these people when they're stuck in the country. There's nothing else to do in the country but argue.